and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is the penultimate episode before we are done with Love Island 2024. Guys, it's been a long two months, but it's coming to an end. I'll be honest, I voted for Mimi and Josh. I definitely do think that even though I do like Ayo and Jessica, that's just a waste of a vote. Um, I think Mimi and Josh have way more of a chance of actually winning. Um, so yeah, I voted for Mimi and Josh and then when I, I might even, my work phone should be over there. So I might use my work phone to vote for them. And then, um, of course, we get to, we have another option. We can vote again to in tomorrow's episode. So, guys, let me know who you are voting for in the comment section below. But, guys, before I get into this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You already know I wrote to 30K. Alrighty, guys, the episode starts off with Kieran and Nicole trying to blame the situation on why they haven't they had an argument or why they look like they were about to argue but it's not the situation itself it's you guys like you guys don't have great communication skills you guys get wound up over the smallest things like it's not about them having to vote for their friends it's simply that you guys don't know how to talk to each other so this results in an argument and then we see joey and jesse and joey and jesse talk about how they've been through so much and they've had so many challenges and da -da -da -da. for example for example, I'm still waiting for the exact y'all going on like y'all went through all the trials and tribulations. You know what I mean? Cast what happened, he cheated, you cheated, people came in like what trials and tribulations are you referring to? There was never a time where Joey picked another girl. And it's almost like it's not it's not a test for him not to pick somebody else. Like you see what especially like if they're just bombshells that are coming in that are not his type. How is that a test? Like that's not a test. That's that's irrelevant. That's not even you know what I mean. I don't. That's that's not, that's. I don't even count that. So I just think the fact that they're both under this delusion that they've such a strong couple and they've been through hell and high waters and they're both need to go where in the bin because this lie, this narrative that you guys are trying to do, it don't make no sense. And honestly, I've never seen so much of a follower girl than Jessie, and it's actually quite disgusting. Anyways, Maya comes into the villa and she lets them know that we're gonna give you guys the results of who is now who nominated who. So that was very spicy and it was very savage that Maya named off every single couple and who they who the, the two couples that they voted for. But I thought that was good because why hide it? Why we why we want to keep secrets, guys? We don't keep secrets right here. We don't keep secrets right here. So let's let let the tea spill. So yeah, it was definitely awkward, and I definitely think that certain people were surprised. So of course, Sean was surprised that Joey voted for him, considering the relationship that they thought that they had. Or at least Joey thought. I mean, at least Sean thought that he had with Joey. He was surprised by that. I think he was like, oh, so Big Brother, because it's almost like if that's your right hand, so to speak. Why are you voting for me? But do I care about Sean and Joey? No, so I'm going to move on. Now, the only part I want to pick up now... Okay. they When Maya said, oh, Matilda and Sean voted for... I think it was Joey and Jesse and Mimi and, and Josh. Then Mimi says, I knew it. And then Josh says, I told you. Now, this is confusing me because... I'm still trying to figure out that why they voted for Ayo and Jessica because I'm not going to lie, guys. I feel like that don't really still sit well with me. I know some of you guys are like, oh, she doesn't owe it. It's not about owing it. It's not about ownership. This is not what it is. It's not about ownership. It's about, one, what is the answer to the question? Who's incompatible? And then in comparison to the other couples, are you sure that's your final answer? And that's where I have an issue with it. Like, it's not like... And that's the thing, if it was based on, like, I guess a lack of friendship, that's one thing, but it would have been nice to have heard that answer. And I guess she found out how close her and Matilda are by her saying, I knew it. Because that makes it seem, and the fact that Josh said, I told you so, that gives me the impression that Mimi wanted to vote for Ayo and, and um, Jessica. And then maybe Josh had to say no. And then she was like, well, I'm not voting for my friend. It seems like Mimi was prioritizing friendship. But does she not realise that Sean is the little weasel in that couple? Like, I don't understand why she didn't get it. Like, I think Mimi's biggest problem this whole season... Well, not biggest. One of her biggest problems um, this season was definitely she don't know who her friends are. And she's loyal to people that are not loyal to her. And I think we've said this, I don't know how many times, guys. I don't know how many times we done said that. But, you know, you know like, you, we've seen Matilda do my man, my man, my man. So I don't know why you think... She, I don't know how you thought. Sean, I mean, Matilda's gonna convince Sean to not vote for you. Like, come on, Mimi, do better, do better. But it's interesting that it seems like Mimi wanted to make that decision rather than it being. But I guess she may probably wanted that make that decision based on friendship. But I guess the friendship wasn't that close in her mind, uh, or at least in Matilda's. I don't know, child. But it is what it is. So, anyways, the next 
islanders come through and i started to realize i think a couple are missing now it's shocking i even remember some of these people's names because i was like oh but blade was missing lola was missing harry was missing lolly and connor were missing those are five that i can recall there might be others missing guys i could not tell you i do not know um it's just funny because sam that was done to what episode two or three he's there but there's other people that were literally just there not even a week ago and they didn't come back but anyway such as like we don't care so each person each ex-islander has to vote for who they want to dump okay as a couple cool so first and foremost Patsy. Patsy says she's going to vote for this couple because she thinks the guy in this couple is not genuine and that he's a game player. And she voted for who? Joey and Jesse. Okay, you, Patsy, you better do your thing and I like that hair colour. I'm liking that hair colour on you, girl. Yeah, it's giving. But she just came straight with the facts. Game player, yeah. Game player. And Joey was like, well, I have, when other people have come in, I haven't turned my head, so now what? Now what? She was like, maybe that's a part of the game plan. Patsy was clocking in. She was clocking it like she was actually clocking what was going on. And I loved it. Patsy was such a strong one to go off on. And she was speaking straight facts. Like she was speaking. She could have been speaking for me. She she ate that one up. Now, Hugo went next. And Hugo was like, this person's been with Samantha, has been with Grace. Has, and then if um situation was different, if he wasn't like a game player, he would have went for Lola. And then, of course, he voted for Joey and Jesse. So I was very, very happy about that because, of course, it's looking like the man is bounce, 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 bounce. He has been in many a couple and it just seems like this is the best situation for him. So big up Hugo for that. Then Harriet goes next. And I'm not going to lie, my sister was dragging Harriet for her choice. But I left her. I left her. Harriet's looking. The eyelashes are still too big. But the bundles were giving, guys. I'm not going to lie. The, the bundles were giving. Um, but Harriet reminded me why there were times where I didn't like her in this voting. So she said, I'm going to vote for this as couple because I feel like the boy potentially still like somebody else and what the family member said, da 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 da, da. Anyways, and then she voted for Ayo and Jessica. And I'm so sorry, maybe guys, I'm a bad man for saying that like, I love my sisters and everything, but they, they couldn't bring a man for me. Yeah, I love them. They couldn't bring a man for me. And I don't think I could bring a man for them in terms of like, we know each other, we like each other, we go on the ra da ra. But it, am I, am, are we odd? Because the way everyone's saying that, like, oh, my family, this, my family, that I'm sorry. I don't, I'm I, like, I don't, I, I don't see that. Again, I don't know if I'm odd or those people are odd. But I don't think it's my sisters can 100% speak for me. I can't, they, they can't speak for me and I can't speak for them. And I think that's, okay maybe it's because we're, we're all quite different but we have a lot of similarities so we can still and we still do get on and we, of course we do, we do know each other we we're raised together but i just find it weird that people are saying that a family one family member doesn't like the person and that means all bets are off i'm sorry if if i don't think that's the case and i don't think that's the case i don't know am i am i an outlaw for thinking like that like i don't know guys if you're if you brought a guy home or a girl home to your family and your sister didn't like the guy because she felt she felt something like we, we like is that it like do you guys break up i don't know for me personally i don't live my life through other people's opinion that like, i'll listen i'm not stupid i'm not hard-headed yeah i got you know what I, mean? I can listen i got two ears and two eyes so i definitely will listen and take things to account but if that's the case then let me just anything i want to do let me just check in and see my sisters if they're okay with that is, is that like me should i do this like when i not just speak for myself i don't know i just think i don't that to the beat, the beat of my family's drums. I wouldn't even expect them to to try to tell me. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I just think the reason is is BS. But such is life. Honestly, such is life. So I didn't love that from Harriet at all. I'll be so serious. Then next is Omar. Big up Omar. Period. I'm always looking good. And it was like this guy basically dumped me on some weasel ish. He tried to eliminate the competition, exactly what he tried to do, um, and that he messed up in Castle and Mall. So I'm voting for Sean and Matilda. Ew. Get him back. Full circle. All right. Do your big one, Omar. Ew. Ew. Because Sean for that, that was going to be forgotten about. Psych. But thankfully, him and Matilda, not even thankfully, him and Matilda took it in stride because they already knew that was what the time was going to be. Now, Uma came, and Uma actually came and embarrassed herself. I'm not going to lie. Me, me personally, Uma came to embarrass herself. She was like, this boy, I don't think he's as supportive when the girl's upset. Like, I don't think he, he, he like, he's considerate of her feelings. I don't think he reassures her. I don't think he's supportive. And then she votes for Jessica and Ayo. Okay. Um, all right, guys, let's, let, let's just keep, let's just marinate on this for a second. Guys, who, who's Uma coupled with? Who's Uma still dating on the outside world? 
Will. Ain't he the same one that could have basically said F you to her face while she was upset? Like, that man said, I don't care. That man did everything, said everything, did everything, behaved every type of way to indicate that that man does not care about you. And you talk about someone being supportive when somebody's upset. When you were looking at Cass, when, when, when it was Cass, when he was moving out, when he did everything, that man basically said, he's a light holiday, charge it. It is what it is. I'm gonna do me. I'm not apologetic. I wanted to do that at the time. And you talk about someone's not being supportive. He didn't even consider your feelings, Yuma. You left the villa for a guy that is now pretending that he wants you and he's gonna make, he's actually trying to be with you for your clout. Yuma, you're gonna go somewhere. Yeah, you're a beautiful girl, stunning. And you're very, very likable. You've got a great personality. This man is actually with you as like, he's actually riding your coattail. And because now he's making you, he's now you're, of course, this is your first ever boyfriend in life. And I don't mean that shade. So now she's not, she doesn't have that same type of like experience that a lot of us will have when you see someone that's trying to run game. It's crazy that she, again, she would have the audacity to say someone isn't being supportive in someone's situation when they're going through something and you left the villa for a man that was disrespecting you two days before and even needs to go where in the bin because guys for me that that whole opinion was trifling and trash trash tr i would have preferred her to have said the brother comment because it's low-hanging fruit even though i don't like it it's low-hanging fruit this one coming from umar is crazy that's it's cr it's actually insane it's insane it's literally in you're with will need i say more that man embarrass you all up and down the TV screen and y'all talk about someone's not being supportive. All right, you stay there, Uma. Then next is baby boy Ronnie. For me, Ronnie was the MVP in this situation. I'm so sorry. Ronnie did his big one. Okay, ew, come on, Ronnie, you better do it. You better do it. So Ronnie was like, this couple, I don't think the girl would really be with the guy on the outside. Well, period. Period. This man is breaking the fourth wall. Matilda, you know you will not be with a man like Sean on the outside world. And, and trust to believe, I'm not saying that, oh, like, every, because, again, if I look at the guys I've dated, not every single guy I've dated is the same, looks the same, whatever, whatever, whatever. However, you're not, I don't date men that look like, or act like Sean. So, I'm not all of a sudden going to do that. For me, that's too far from what I'm used to. I'm so sorry. Even, the, forget the looks, the personality. Like, that's follower energy. I don't go for followers. I don't, I go for independence. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't do following men. I don't do that. I don't, I don't, I don't do little wimpy men. I don't do men that be in women's business. I don't do men that are on repeat. Like, those type of traits that make my nuni dry. Yeah, I don't go for men like that. You see what I'm saying? So, for Matilda to go for a guy that's friends with Ronnie, considering what Ronnie's like, Ronnie is like Jack the Lad. You want to go for Jack the Lad and then go for the little weasel. It's not, it's too dissimilar. So I don't think it's possible. I really don't. Even forget about all I just said. Matilda's not going to go out with a guy like him in real life. Let's be, I'm sorry, I'm keeping it 100. I've been saying it from day one and I ain't switching up. And big up Ronnie for saying that because yeah, I know you Matilda. That's, that's the boy, the boy's not yours. Okay, the boy is not yours. Then he also said the guy is obsessed with other couples. He's always saying something. He don't mind his business. He needs to face his front. Like, you know what I mean? You got a great girl here. You know what I mean? Manage that, handle that, focus on that. Ronnie eat him up, period. I'm sorry, Ronnie came and really did his big one. All right, Ronnie. All right, Ronnie. Oh my God, I was messing with him. Him and Harriet should have stayed a little bit longer because yeah, even though Harriet didn't ever take me, but for Ronnie, I'll, I'll, I'll take him back. I'll take him back. Anyways. The next one was Sam. This is Sam that got dumped episode two or three. He said this couple have poor communication and one of the one of the person involved in a couple is always involved in other people's couples. Um, and that was Joby and Jesse. So I was like, uh, ding, 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 another one. Another one, thank you. Um, and then he was saying that, the Joby, because of course Joby can never take anything just laying down. He can never just take anything and take it on the chin. He was like, oh, I feel like you're voted for me because I dumped you from the villa. I was like, did he? Because my memory is so bad. That was two months ago, guys. That was really two months ago, guys. You think Sam is harboring onto something that happened two months ago. It, was that, it wasn't that deep then and it definitely ain't that deep now. I don't think it's personal. Um, and thankfully, Sam just said on what he was saying, he was like, you're constantly saying you're not going to do something and you do it. You keep on backtracking. You don't stand on business. Like, you know what I mean? You're always repeating yourself. You're always bringing something back up. Like, Sean stayed on it. Don't let him do smoke and mirror with you. Try to make it seem like it's personal. Because, of course, accountability is what? Joey's kryptonite. So, bye. Anyways, um, and then next goes Jess. Like, yeah. She's like, this couple's really well suited. Um, but I just feel like there's limited reassurance. 
again, for her to say limited reassurance, pick Ayo and Jessica and then say, oh, maybe Jessica also is requesting too much assurance. Girl, which one is he? Is he give limited reassurance means he's given too little, not she's asking for too much. Right or wrong? Right or wrong? I'm confused. Right or wrong? But then also, I just think, I'm not gonna lie, objectively, I feel like the way these people are saying Jessica and Ayo, it actually makes me feel like I want to defend them even more because it's annoying. This is fake news. What more do you want this guy to do? He already said to his brother, to his face, I don't believe it. I don't agree. I disagree with your opinion. I'm really good with Jessica. She does da 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 He's, And that's, again, you see, guys, why it was important for him to tell Jessica. So all you guys that were screaming, why don't he tell Jessica? He's not emotionally intelligent. Look how many people have brought it up to her. So imagine if she would have been caught, like a, like, a, like a rat on the street, yeah? People are telling her stuff and she don't know about it. She would have been like, what do you mean? Your brother said, what? Well, why didn't you tell me? So it's good he tells her because like, look how many times it's been mentioned since. So thankfully he told her. But anyways, going back to the actual topic, I think he has reassured her. I think he has reassured her. I think this time he's been irritated with the situation, so, so has she. But I definitely think he's reassured her, which is why Jessica feel so like confident in their relationship and if i felt like jessica was being dumb guys i'm sorry I, i'm not loyal to nobody you know i would have called it out you know i would have called it out like you know i would have called it out so maybe i would have i think i called it out initially post casa or did i because she she was even open for, open to him getting to know mimi again post casa but mimi was of course not interested so and jessica is she's really vocal she wears her heart on her sleeve i don't i don't see the issue and i definitely think i will definitely reassured her now the situation and that's the thing that's irritating because they're getting a bad rep if there wasn't a mimi situation if there was no history with mimi i or jessica would have been completely great they would have been there would have been no problems but unfortunately it is what it is um but yeah for me it was just given the girls are definitely being up so not patsy but harriet uma and jess Y'all all ops, sorry, because y'all just all, I'm sorry, anyone that voted for Ayo and Jessica, I'm not feeling it. I'm so sorry, because the reason they ain't given. I'm so sorry, the reason not given. In my personal, in my humblest opinion, I think it's a whole bunch of BS, okay? From the brother to the reassurance comment, like, what the hell, what do you want? Um, but yeah, I love that Jessica and Ayo, they, they didn't even shift from these comments. They didn't even shift from these comments. They back each other up. They already know where each other stand. You see, they're not even getting rattled by this, and that's how that's how they're connected they are she's not even getting rattled okay period he's not getting rattled okay then the next person was ruben ruben was like he said like this girl can't keep up with the guy's lifestyle and the boy embarrasses her of course it had to be joey and jesse because who else is he talking about joey started he started going off oh you're jealous of me you're hating on me your opinion's so irrelevant i don't even care about what you're saying da, 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 da. like joey was being so unnecessarily rude and why was that guys why was that guys because he's still pressed about grace guys everything all roads be back to grace when it comes to, to joey because why are you why are you dragging it why are you dragging it why was he's jealous of you for what like you i'm sorry ruben's better than me you think i would have answered my jammer's question about are you jealous of are you do you think i would have answered her comment who you talk like honestly i know of course she she needs to do her job but i'm not answering her comment what kind of stupid question is that am i jealous of who what what please let's be for real like jealous of you why would i be jealous with you remember he's with the person that you know what i mean you don't like anymore so why would he be jealous that you've been like you've been where he wants to go but you're with somebody else? like why would he be jealous of you again the ego is too big the self-centeredness is too big and joey needs to go where in the bin because it's too much he's, he's doing too much and look at look at jesse she going right for her talk about old oh, the busy comment is irrelevant if you want to make time for somebody make time so i'm sorry does she not know what dating is like in 2024 everybody's busy even child even i swear that if i didn't have this consistent love island thing the, the time it takes for me to even respond to a text sometimes i'm not gonna sometimes i've been moving like an idiot but other people do it as well like you're talking about oh like remember joey and, and grace didn't date well or didn't like have a, a relationship because he was busy it's the same reasoning how many times have someone said oh i'm busy as if there's not 24 hours in a day for everybody but people are busy so her saying that's an invalid comment it's not an invalid comment because that's the same excuse he's going to use for you and when, when you come out and tell us you guys broke up if we can even say break up if we're exclusive that's what he's going to say so it is what it is it's not an invalid comment if someone doesn't have time to spend with you how can you grow the relationship it's not an invalid comment 
but go off sis if we really, really well if she likes it i love it no i don't actually i don't i don't give a shit i swore oh well but ruben was talking for too long he was talking for too he, he gotta just write it down a, a bit quicker that's just you know i mean wrapped up a bit quicker here comes will talking about the whole brother comment on oh, my brother's no my brother's no if your brother's new you wouldn't be with uma right now stop playing with me will stop playing with me clown Anyways, honestly, clown, how you how you how you a Trump supporter and you're you're trying to date Uma? Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Honestly, that like that for me that really talks for your character. You're talking about the, the, the brother comment, the brother comment. Really? 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 Your political affiliation says a lot about you. Anyway, so he voted for Jessica and Uma. Next, now Samantha. Samantha said this person is a game player. He's opinionated. He, you know, he he talked too much, and of course it was Joey and Jessica. Then I'm not gonna lie, Samantha, baby, hold my let me let me hold your hand while I say this, sis. I I hate that you were still upset about this whole Joey situation. I'm not gonna lie, I did, I, did, I did hate that for you. This was six weeks ago. Yes, whatever happened happened, but babes, this was six weeks ago. You don't have three times the time. That you and Joey were together to get over this situation and for you not to be upset about it. I hated that for her. I'm not saying she don't need to have emotions, but it seemed like she was still very much upset. Like it happened yesterday. And the fact that he was even able to wind, not even wind her up, I don't want to say that. But like, let it roll off you, baby. Like, you know that man's a fool. You know he's deceptive. You know he's a game player. Don't let, don't, don't have any feelings towards him. At least not in front of him. At least not on TV again. You've already given us your emotions. We don't need it no more. You see what I'm saying? Like, just for her, because it seemed like he, it pained her again for him to be like, oh, it's a friendship couple. He said it behind your back. Him saying it to your face, you already know this man's fake. So he's not saying anything new that you ain't never heard before, baby. You already know this man is fake AF. So why are we even paying attention? Why are we even letting it trigger us? Put him in the bin and let's go. Let's go. Because it definitely seemed like she definitely wanted to cry and he was being very muggy by saying like oh i don't even remember like i've been in and out of so many couples i don't even remember again he was not acknowledging her feelings but i don't know why she thought he was gonna joey has not shown us anything about accountability oh yeah we were friends we were friends oh even though it didn't look like he was interested in us watching from home you know I me mean? in the villa he was definitely still reassuring her and making it seem like they were trying to get to know each other like that when that wasn't the case and of course as soon as grace went came in he put her in the beam anyways then we see Monver. Monver says the least likely to work out on the outside and he said joey and jesse and he blamed their lifestyle then grace was the last person and she said this couple is unbalanced very opinionated and the gal is a dodo bird and she's always defending this guy and she said joey and jesse because my sister was thinking is she gonna vote for joey and jesse because she's friends with jesse i don't think grace cares about Je Je um, joey jesse's friendship too tough so that's why when J joey was saying oh she's only with you she's only friends with you because of xyz grace does not care about that girl baby she does not she does not and thankfully um the couple that were dumped were joey and jesse yay we'll love to see it i think they had seven votes mimi and um, so first of all, Mimi and Josh didn't get in Nara. Yeah, Nara. I think Sean and Matuna only got two, maybe. I think they got two with Ronnie and Sam, I believe. No, Ronnie and somebody else. It doesn't matter. And then Mimi, and then sorry, Ayo and Jessica, they got four. So thankfully, Jesse and Joey were dumped. It's that time to go home. Y'all want to be making it to the final? Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Bye bye. Adios. Adios. Anyways, Jesse started crying. And I don't even understand why Jesse's crying because, guys, one, if Jesse wasn't with Joey, she wouldn't have made it this far. She wouldn't have made it this far. And again, she wants to be my man, my man, my man. That's what happens when you're with my man, my man, my man. You take on my man, my man, my man consequences. So don't cry. Don't cry. That's why old people came up with BS excuses. That first, like, it's not BS excuses. And even if it was, I don't give a shit. Let me swear it again. I don't give a damn. It is what it is. We don't care over here. You want to be a ride or that? Look at me until they're like, oh, yeah, you're a ride or you're a ride or you're a dummy. You're a dummy. When I'm never going to promote someone being a, a, a blind rider. She's she honestly a blind rider. Like, that's so dumb. 
What happened to the intellect that you had before you met this guy? It's so stupid. And then I don't know why Joey and Sean had a conversation because they don't even have a real enough bromance for them to even be having a separate conversation about anything. That's why I'm confused. So what was the point of that conversation? But I guess Sean asked Joey, why did you vote for me? And he basically said, said but like even out the scores in terms of, yeah, I feel like loads of people will be coming for me, so I wanted to come for you to try like, you know what I mean, balance it out, make it more of an opportunity for me for not to go home. So I'm going to chuck you underneath the bus to save myself. Interesting. Anyway, so, anyway, these people go home. Then Sean admits to Matilda, Aya, and Jessica that there were times where he didn't, like, he didn't agree with Joey and he still supported him. And Sean needs to go, where? In the bin. Because we knew you were bumped up. We knew you were in his behind, his bum hole, and you were doing the most. So now, this man has snaked you and you were backing him blindly. Again, Sean, you're embarrassing. You've embarrassed yourself. Congratulations. You have played yourself. And what did you get? What did you earn from it? Nada. Um, and thankfully, Jessica clocked it. He voted for them for like my tactical reasons tactical for tactical reasons is he a game player mm. one, one could say yes many could say yes kieran and ayo have a conversation because they have a really good friendship and of course ayo heard that kieran voted for him and jessica he said it was literally nothing personal josh he when he had a chance to stray he didn't whereas you and um you and Jessica didn't stray. I would, I'm not gonna lie, I think that's, I mean, it didn't have a, a test to be straight. I think I was actually quite BS, come to think about it. The Mimi situation was a test, I'm so sorry. That was a test. That was a test. Because trust and believe, if Ayo was all the way on it, Mimi and Ayo, we would be voting for them to be the final. Let's keep it a buck, let's keep it 100, yeah? Let's keep it 100, but anyways, they're good friends, they're charging it, which is fine, but I think it was good that they had a conversation in general which what would have been nice to have seen Aya and Jessica and Mimi and Josh have a conversation I would have loved to have heard that reasoning I'm not gonna lie I would have loved it just for my own you know what I mean understanding or lack thereof on the situation but I guess it is what it is they're in the final the final is tomorrow guys this show it's been a it's been a long journey guys I cannot wait to have my 9 p.m back oh and I, I don't have to be sleeping at 12, 1 every day. Oh, lordy. How amazing. And guys, Love Island USA finale review will be coming out tomorrow. I've been denying this for a week, child. But yeah, it is what it is. But guys, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.